My name is Marlon Chamberlain and I'm a force leader. I was originally sentenced to a 20 year prison sentence and because of uh, organizations um, working to create change, um, my sentence was changed in 2009 because of the Fair Sentencing Act. As a result of this change, my sentence was reduced from 20 to 14 years. And so even coming home from prison, I felt obligated to get involved somehow to create change for others um, that I had left behind in prison. Right now, I'm the organizer um, of FORCE. Um, I'm also a father. I'm a, a college student. Um, I have a, a painting company um, that I own that where we train um, people with records to, to, to rehab houses. FORCE is creating our own narrative um, because a lot of what you hear on TV about people coming home from prison is, is not everyone's story. And so FORCE is really looking to create our own narrative to say, hey, this is what a person with the record looks like. A person with the record is married. Um, he goes to college. He goes to school. He takes care of his kids. He's a productive member of society. He votes. Um, and not only does he vote, but he holds his, his elected officials accountable. Um, He's a positive uh, person and, or influence in the community. Um, and so force is really, like one of the, the, the big things that we look to do is to, to tear down the stigmas that society has placed on people with records. And, and really, we're really building out and creating our own narrative that speaks to, to who we really are and what we really do. We, we build relationships all, all throughout the Chicagoland area. Uh, we develop leaders by the, the uh, organizing trainings that we have, mentoring, and the indiv individual workshops. Um, and then we take action, meaning we actually go out and build campaigns and win campaigns to create the changes that we're looking for. The ceiling bill that seals the records of nonviolent uh, non convictions. Um, we've passed four bills that remove lifetime barriers to employment in the uh, schools, uh, the, the park districts, and the uh, healthcare industry. Um, and we've also worked uh, with Walgreens to change their hiring practices so that they can um, now hire people with records. With the removal of these barriers, a lot of people can come home and transition not into just jobs but into careers where they feel a sense of belonging, they feel empowered, um, and they feel like that they've really moved past um, their records. What, what makes us unique is the fact that it's led by formerly incarcerated people. So uh, from the top to the bottom, it's actually led by people who, who have records. Um, and there's a quote that I love that says that those of us that are closest to the problem are closest to the solution but lack the resources and power to actually bring about change. And so force empowers people um, to not only talk about the problem, but also offer um, the resources and the power to actually bring about the change that we're, that we're looking for. FORCE has an opportunity to really influence policy and legislation that affects us. And, and you, we talked about FORCE being the go-to group, and we've already, uh, we have several like legislators and, and uh, people who are in positions that to, to create change that they call on force uh, when they have questions around policy or or different legislation that would remove barriers and obstacles and so we definitely want to be the go-to people that people call on that can influence uh, those changes.